Question from a viewer. What are your thoughts when your girlfriend, 33, considers her ex-boyfriend from college her best friend? It's a lot of friends. Uh, and talks to him weekly. Let me read this again. Okay, so what are your thoughts when your girlfriend considers an ex-boyfriend from college her best friend and talks to him weekly? Is this good for the current relationship? I want to tell her to stop seeing him. Okay, you should never tell a girlfriend who they can and cannot be friends with for two reasons. A, they will feel controlled and women want to feel led, not controlled. Okay, and by led I mean leadership, not a bullet. And B, you will appear insecure which rates really high in the list of top things that turn off women. Number one being a tie between eating with your mouth open and yelling out someone else's name during sex. Now that being said, you shouldn't pretend like it doesn't bother you. That will only lead to calluses on your hands and mine are from muscle ups. So my vote is to tell her how you feel and be honest and use I statements. So um, I will kick his ass if I see you with him again is not an I statement. Okay, an I statement is I'll be completely honest with you, it hurts my feelings when you go hang gliding with Tommy every Tuesday. Now, I know that's my thing and I'm working on it, but I just wanted to tell you that's how I feel. And I know what you guys are thinking, you're like hang gliding with Tommy on Tuesdays, what the fuck? But here's the thing guys, Now, this is what's important. The reason why we're going towards feelings is because there's content and process, okay? Logic's gonna kick in, the guy's gonna be like, you know what, dude, there's no way I'm gonna let my girlfriend go hang gliding with Tommy. But Think process because it's going to end up being a pissing contest. She's going to say why she's going to hang on with this guy and it's going to be logical and it's going to go back and forth and you guys are just going to get in a fight. So what you do is you say, I know you're going, but this is how I feel about it. And now we're at the process level. Okay, process is always better than content. Content is information. Process is what's underneath. Okay, process is subtext. So my, my advice is this. Okay, instead of seeing this as a negative thing, I would use it as an opportunity to show her how secure and in touch you are with your feelings, right? This is a great combo. This is like uh, peanut butter and chocolate. It's like wine and red meat. Starts getting hutch. Women love men that are secure. And the reason that is, is because when a man's secure, it makes the women feel safe. And when a woman feels safe, they get fat. Wow. This is why I'm single. Um, when a woman feels safe, they feel beautiful. And that's what it's all about, okay? The goal is to try to make your woman feel beautiful. Um, now, if you have the ability to make a woman feel beautiful, you can get any woman you want. Kind of. Okay, let me rephrase that. If you have the ability to make a woman feel beautiful, then um, you could keep your woman longer. No, okay, here it is. If you have the ability to make your woman feel beautiful, good for you. Would you say he's just a friend? Would you say he's was working for it at this time I thought just having a friend couldn't be no crime Cause I have friends and that's a fact Like Agnes, Agatha, Jermaine and Jack